we're making a tagine, a vegan tagine. Now, normally tagines are cooked in a tagine pot, um, a classic sort of Moroccan, North African way of cooking a dish. Uh, we're gonna make this with no meat, uh, some chickpeas, some, um, what are these called? Uh, dried apricots, thank you. <laughs> and some vegetables. Uh, and we're gonna get as much flavor out of this as possible, like caramelization, and then we're gonna let it sit and bubble away with some lovely spices. It's important that you get some Ras El Hanout, which is like the, it's, it's a classic Moroccan sort of feel of flavors, taste of flavors blended all together. I've got some cumin and some chilies. You probably want to cut majority of that out because it's a bit gash, but let's go. So I've got a nice big pan on there that I'm going to get um, warmed up. And then we're going to start with garlic, chili and onions. So I'm going to cook with coconut oil. A nice big wallop of coconut oil in the bottom of the pan there. And you want a good amount. I think people don't put enough like good fats in their food, especially when you're cooking sort of vegan vegetarian food. You need them good fats and coconut oil is a good source of like a good fat. I'm just gonna chop these nice and chunky because we're gonna sit and stew them in the tomato um, and all the other flavors. So you wanna keep these kind of chunky. Make, me, make sure your pan's hot. Here's my spatula that the guys thought would be fun to break. It's devastated me. So, get that frying off and you can smell, can you smell that already? Nice and sweet, coconutty vibe. Good pinch of salt and a crack of black pepper. And what we're gonna do is caramelize these down and then we're gonna add our spices so the spices will fry off as well so we'll get a depth of flavor with that. But uh, in the Greenwich meantime, I'm going to uh, prep some squash that I've already half prepped. Uh, so you just want to take the, the skin off this. Right, so now those onions are coming down nicely. Just give them a swish. I still think I want a bit more colour on there. Um, Chilies. Just going to use one. I'm going to take the seeds out of this because we're going to use dry chilies as well. And then our uh, garlic, finely sliced. Well, now we've set the fire alarm off. We've given everybody five minutes like an absolute lad. Uh, we'll add our spices. So I've got some cumin, some crushed chilies, and some Ras El Hanout. So that goes in so we can fry them off. Just a teaspoon of each. We're gonna add a little bit of sumac because that gives a nice citrus note. You can finish with some lemon and awesome lime as well. Vegetable stock, a little stock cube, or you can make it. And then a tiny little splash of water. Just so we can dissolve that veg stock cube. And then we'll deglaze that pan. Get all those lovely flavors off the bottom of it. A little bit of tomato paste. I would say one teaspoon and then just give that a stir in and then we're going to go in with our butternut squash or pumpkin whatever you've got and our tomatoes and let that cook out until the squash becomes tender and then we can add our courgettes. We're just going to let that squash cook out in that beautiful sauce. I've got another pan on here and I want to cut these courgettes and I want to fry them so we get a nice colour on them and I'm just going to fold them in last minute. Just cut them on the angle, about a centimetre, half a centimetre thick and you want a, a little splash of oil. So we want to get these nice and brown. Sizzly, sizzly, I want to get sizzly. You ready to uh, the maracas? the loudest black pepper meal you'll ever hear in your life. So, take that off the heat. So, as we're nearly there, got some dried apricots, 
Gonna cut those apricots nice and thin. In we go. In we go. Give that a stir in. And then those lovely courgettes that we've just pan fried. They go in with all that oil because it's seasoned. And then we just turn them in. Chickpeas are here, drained and washed, I forgot them. What is Moroccan food without chickpeas? Stir them in. Recipes on the website. Give it a go, it's super easy. If you like this video, please head over to Cramble on YouTube. Give us a like, a share and a subscribe. Amazing, thank you very much.